Now that we have our uh, free body diagram, we remember that the next step that we have is to write Newton's second law in general. So let's go ahead and do that. And so for step four, for step four, uh, we're going to write down Newton's second law in general. And this is going to say that the sum of the vector forces is going to be equal to the mass times the vector acceleration. This can be broken into components. And so this says that the sum of the force in the x direction is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration in x. The sum of the force in the y direction is going to be the mass times the acceleration in y. Oh, where the 